Hey y'all, welcome back to Pancakes and Pandemonium. So guys, I'm super excited. I have not done one of these videos in a while, but today's video is a collaboration with my good friends, Jessica, my Rose, and Tiffany from Small Town Six. And I've done these videos, different um, consistencies for a couple of years now, but I, love them. I love collabing with these ladies. They are fun. They are funny. They are sweet. They're just really great friends as well as really fun creators. So I will make sure their videos are linked in the description box along with the playlist of the other ladies that are participating in this collaboration. And this year they've taken a couple of the collaborations that they had done that were more spread out and they combine them into this one, which is Foodie Friday. And I'm really, really excited. So for this month's Foodie Friday, we are gonna make Rotel chicken and cheddar green chili mashed potatoes for dinner. I think my kids are really gonna love it. Uh, it's early afternoon and just after school, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the mashed potatoes because I want them to cook in the crock pot. Tonight is gonna be a little bit crazy. Mason has activity days at seven. Emily has dance at five. Gracie has um, what we call a bishop's interview at 640 and it is to get a temple recommend so that she can go to the temple with the young women's. They're going on Saturday and they try to go at least once a month. It's a thing for our church, obviously. And just all the things. So the more I'm ahead, the easier dinner is gonna go tonight. First up, I'm gonna scrub all of these potatoes because I'm not gonna peel them. I'm just gonna wash them really good and chop them up. I like to use one of these rags. They've got like a scrubby side and then I'll use warm water and it'll take, it'll scrub all the grime off and I won't have them just, you know, under running water for five minutes or whatever. So see, they get good and clean. And there's actually a lot of nutrients in the potato skin. So not only is it extremely convenient and a great lazy mom hack to not peel your potatoes. It's actually healthy. So there's your excuse for the day. I'm gonna cut these so that they're in like similar sizes. And then we're gonna drop them in our multi-cooker. I, I like to use my multi-cooker for browning and stuff. But this is going to be a pretty big batch of potatoes and it is like part of, so part of the things a multi-cooker does is slow cook. So it's my biggest slow cooker. So, and I'm using about five pounds of potatoes here. So I'm going to dump them in here. I have been trying to get better about linking the items that y'all see the most in my videos in the description box. So, of course I'm using my Bee Fonder knife. This is the best knife. So, I will link the set I have, and if I can find the knife just as an individual knife, I'll link that too and I'll clarify which is which. And then, the multi-cooker I have has been discontinued I don't know why, because I think it's amazing. But I've been linking a DeLonghi multi-cooker. It's about the same price point this one was. And so it's comparable size, price, and everything to what I spent on this guy. We're gonna fill those with water. I'm gonna put in chopped dried onion. One of my favorite seasonings. Now. I like to cook my potatoes with chicken broth, but chicken broth is expensive. So I rarely buy it. I might on occasion get some bone broth 
to keep in my cabinet if it's on sale or I'm at Trader Joe's. I'll typically grab a couple for convenience items. But in general, I tend to use better than bullion or make my own bone broth. So we want these potatoes to be well flavored. So about a, this is a ton of water and potatoes. This is a seven quart slow cooker. So it's about two tablespoons worth of bouillon to all that water. And yes, you guys, I use this a ton. This is a Costco size jar. So we're gonna put that in there. And then because we are going for big flavor tonight, we want all the goodness in there. So we are also gonna put in a couple teaspoons of garlic. Now, we're gonna set this to cook on high and come back to them at dinner time. All right, I just made myself a peanut butter and jelly, jelly smoothie. Um, I use Premier Protein, collagen peptides. I need extra fiber being a post-bariatric patient. So I use this and then to get the PB effect, I use PB Fit. And I don't add jelly. If I use a fruit flavored protein, like the strawberries and cream, that's my jelly, get it? But it's delicious and peanut butter, PB Fit pairs really well with almost, almost every premier protein I've had to date. The cake batter and the caramel are probably my two favorites, but yeah, I'm gonna let those cook. I've got chicken thawing. We're gonna bake it in the oven. It's not gonna be a crock pot meal. And um, I'm gonna, I actually have some emails and stuff to do. So I'm gonna work for a few hours. Kids are gonna do some chores. We're gonna hang out for the rest of the day. So I'm out of cumin and I'm out of garlic powder and onion powder and I'm out of Trader Joe's onion salt. So it's fine. We're going to go to another favorite that I forgot I had up in there. Nothing but the elote seasoning. And since this is kind of a Southwest Tex-Mexy type thing, we're going to use some of this. Em is going to generously season it for us. <laughs> um, you know what? I was going to put some green chili powder on there, but I think we're going to hold off. Salt. And we're just going to add a little bit of salt. Um, now we're going to bring them over here and we're going to put them on our onions and bacon grease. The onions kind of got a head start cooking. There's all that yummy bacon grease in there. We got the chicken in the other casserole dish and it one isn't as thawed as I had hoped it would be and two it wasn't fitting and we've got more to add to it so I didn't want it hanging over so we switched it to a bigger casserole dish now we're gonna add two cans of Rotel mild tomatoes and green chilies the elote seasoning, if you use chili powder, it's gonna have a little bit of a kick, which is totally fine. My family, most of my family, does not love spice. So, yeah. Now we are going to add, maybe, some Velveeta cheese sauce. I like to pick these up when I can on sale at Smith's, which is my local, my local Kroger affiliate. Sometimes I'll find them at Walmart for a decent price. And they will sometimes be on sale at Dollar Tree for like, yeah, I've got them 50 cents off. I've got them two for a dollar before. Usually for those deals, I either have to have a coupon or use Instacart though, just FYI. But they're everywhere and they're usually pretty good price. So anyway, it's a fun staple, great for 
a little bit cheap, especially if you buy them on sale, cheaper shells and cheese, because it's the same thing, or, uh, you know, to put in mashed potatoes, this chicken dish without having to buy like, you know, a $7 block of Velveeta. Kind of give it a spread. Um, in Texas, Rotel was, I guess, invented, first distributed in, whatever the case is, in Texas. So, Rotel queso is a big, big deal out there. And I'm from Texas, so it's a big, big deal to me. So you kind of get those vibes in this chicken dish. Because uh, they're still frozen, I'm glad I got an early start. They're going to cook an hour-ish. Sorry. Uh, one of these days, I'll remember. But they're going to cook an hour-ish. Um, maybe a little bit longer. And then we'll make the mashed potatoes. And I keep feeling like I should put some kind of vegetable with it, but... Oh, we might just have like a really basic salad with ranch. Okay, potatoes should be done. But yeah, check this out. Super fork tender. All right, first things first, we're gonna drop in the butter. Let that get all melty and delicious in there. Mashed up, mixed with the butter. We're gonna add about a cup of sour cream. You, you know what, we're just gonna add the whole pint. Depending on your family size and how many you're making, you may need more, you may need less. We're gonna do the green chilies. I'm gonna keep working those. Just quickly shredding some cheddar cheese. Probably a good two cups worth. Let's spin a little bit. All right, so I don't have another can of green chilies. So I'm gonna add a couple healthy pinches of my green chili powder. And we need salt. Will you grab me a wooden spoon, buddy? Yeah, yeah. I feel like they're a little bit dry. So we don't want a super runny mashed potato. We can add maybe a half a cup or so of milk to them. If anyone in the household likes runny mashed potatoes, it's on them. But. We don't need a running mashed potato. Yeah. We're good. We're good. If you were thinking it was too liquidy, look, all of that sauce is absorbing. Ranch from the valley, if you know, you know. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you tonight. It's really good. The whole house smells warm, comforting. So many areas, us included, are getting crazy just ice storms or, or just record lows of cold. And so this is a super warm, comforting dish. I personally think any Tex-Mex, it, it's comfort food to me. So uh, I hope you try it. Uh, if you zhuzh it up or doctor it up in any way or you try it as is and you like it, come back and tell me. Thank you so much for joining us. If you came over from the collab, thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe and stay. So I do all the mom life things. Cooking is my favorite. I homeschool and guys, I keep it real. If it's boring around here, it's boring. If we're running errands, I take you with me. We do hauls, we do all the things. It is just about being real and, you know, sharing real life with you guys. So come back. You never know what's gonna happen around here. I'm gonna have Tiffany and Jessica's channels linked in the description box and of course the playlist. Uh, please check out the other ladies. I'm always blown away with their creativity and how delicious their food looks. And come back, I can't wait to see you. Bye. Say pansy